I'm Casey Kasem. We're counting down the 40 biggest hits in the USA. Well, now let's answer that question about the Grammys. It comes from Esther Barrientes of Austin, Texas. And Esther wants to know, in the history of the Grammy Awards, which artist won the most Grammys in a single year? Well, he's the superstar who picked up a record-setting eight Grammys for 1983. And they were some of the biggest awards given. There was the Grammy for Record of the Year for his song, Beat It. The same song also earned him the Grammy for the Best Rock Vocal Performance by a Male. Then there was the Grammy for Album of the Year for his LP, Thriller. The same album also earned this superstar the award for the best pop vocal performance by a male. His song, Billy Jean, helped this man take home the statuettes for best rhythm and blues vocal performance and best new rhythm and blues song. As co-producer of his album, Thriller, he also shared the award for producer of the year. That comes to seven Grammys, and it wasn't all. This performer's eighth award came in the category of Best Recording for Children, an album he narrated based on the adventures of E.T. the Extraterrestrial. And there's your answer, Esther. If you haven't guessed already, Michael Jackson holds a record for winning the most Grammys for a single year. Eight of them. The year of Thriller, 1983. Thanks for writing in. Now, on with the countdown. I'm Mark Elliott sitting in for Casey Kasem. Now, it's time to open our Casey's Top 40 scrapbook to the chapter on the Grammys and the section on the man who just became the most honored pop artist in the history of those awards. The biggest Grammy winner of all time, of any type, is classical conductor Sir George Solti of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. He's won 28 Grammys. And until this year, the most honored pop artist was composer-conductor Henry Mancini. Over the past decades, he's won for classics like Moon River in 1961 and The Days of Wine and Roses in 1963. By 1970, Henry Mancini had collected 20 Grammys, and that record for the most Grammys has been his for the past 21 years. But this year, that record fell. It was surpassed by a superstar arranger, composer, and producer who picked up six Grammys for the album Back on the Block, including Album of the Year and Producer of the Year. And that gives Quincy Jones a grand total of 25 Grammys, making him the most honored pop artist in the history of the awards. A big tip of the Top 40 hat to Quincy Jones. I'm Mark Elliott for Casey Kasem. Five years ago this week, the number one song in the USA was These Dreams by Heart. Who will be number one this week? We're on our way to the answer as the countdown rolls on.